Rose was one of the first few legends I did a legend analysis for back in 2021, right after Nye and Reno, of course. I see no reason why we shouldn't continue going at track rather than skipping right over the Juro and Faye. Of course, it really doesn't matter what order I do them in, it's just personal preference. Enough talk about what order they're in, let's get to the main topic, Mirage. Mirage is not a legend I'm caught playing very much. Sure, I absolutely love playing Spear, but Scythe is not my go-to weapon and I just can't get a hang of her six. Not to mention she was the first Scythe legend to be introduced. So, uh, she's the reason Scythe is so, uh, uh... Regardless, she still appears to be one of my higher level legends. I actually have black colors for her on PC. Although I feel like that was just because I went on a Scythe spree back in Plat days when I was mainly an Xbox player. I have a weird history with the Mirage. Enough talk, let's get to the SIGs. Out of all the Scythe Legends in the game, I feel like Mirage is much weaker. You don't see people really picking her up for Spear or Scythe, but some of her SIGs still go pretty hard if used correctly. Spear and Scythe can be a pretty tricky one actually for some reason, I'm not entirely sure why, maybe it's just because Mirage completely turns into sand and you can't see her. The SIG hits grounded and hits higher up as well, and while it does have some of the best force on Mirage's spear, it has the least damage. That doesn't make it bad though, the damage isn't the important factor. It's one of Mirage's best SIGs next to Spear's side SIG. Oh my god, can it be annoying. I don't fight Mirage players too often, in fact it's pretty rare compared to, well, every other scythe. But fighting a good Mirage player, one who knows how to use the SIGs well, is really scary on occasions. Spear side SIG has the most damage out of her spear SIGs, and about the same force as Insig in fact. Luckily, the SIG isn't active too long and can be pretty punishable on miss if you aren't careful. Also, does anyone actually do this true combo? I swear I've never seen anyone do it. Still one of Mirage's best Spear SIGs, although unfortunately, we have to go to the last one, Spear Down SIG. This SIG is the worst on Mirage's Spear by far. The damage is about the same as Side SIG, and the SIG itself just does not have that much force. This is strange considering how early you can kill with the Insig and Side SIG. This one kills fairly late, around 140 damage. Although I understand why this one has less force, that being the extremely generous hitboxing the SIG has. It's definitely a get off me SIG, as I've mentioned in the past likely. So I suppose our Spear SIGs can stay as they are. On to Scythe, the SIGs just really don't work out for me. My opinion from my first analysis stands true to this day, and in that analysis I said that Mirage's SIGs feel awkward to use. Spear, that isn't really that true to me anymore, but Scythe I'm still sticking to that. Scythe and SIG I just can't find a good use for. It apparently has the most force on our Scythe SIGs, which is fine, it makes it a good killing tool if you hit it near the edge of a stage, and I've actually seen how strong that can be. It's pretty good, but apart from that, it sends at an angle, making it hard to kill within a bad position. I would say it's her best Scythe SIG, but that's kind of saying something considering that her best Scythe SIG isn't even better than her worst Spear SIG. Scythe Side SIG, I'd have to say, is Mirage's worst SIG overall, or at least the one that requires the most skill to use. It feels like Artemis' Lance Side SIG, where it feels like there should be a hitbox along the SIG itself. Maybe that would make it too good, which I could see why they would give it more end lag or startup, but I would actually kill for a change like that. Maybe it's too good, so I'm not entirely sure. I mean, Artemis' Lance Side SIG is already too good by itself, so you tell me. Scythe Down SIG is another get off me SIG, similarly to Spear Down SIG. Personally, I think it's a bit worse even though it has more force and damage than Spear Down SIG. Spear Down SIG feels like it has more freedom, while Scythe Down SIG feels more restrictive. Less safe as well. Overall, Mirage's Scythe SIGs just don't really flow into anything well in my opinion, holding some of the worst Scythe SIGs out of any of the Scythe Legends in the game. Overall, our Spear game is just so much better. Spear is pretty damn good in the current meta, and with some of those SIGs, you would want to run Spear over Scythe. Moving on to skins, Mirage has a whole lot. She hasn't gotten any new ones besides one crossover, so this tier list won't change much from the original. God tier has Cleaner, Freestyle, and Incarnate. Cleaner and Freestyle are very popular skins of her, as for Incarnate, I feel like it's really underrated as compared to these ones. It's a chest skin, so I get why, but the color swaps look beautiful on it. Pretty good tier has Anubis, Hand of Horus, Corsair, and Default. All very stylish in their own ways, Hand of Horus is actually criminally underrated. As for Default, I like Mirage's design quite a lot. I'm a simp for desert designs, honestly. What can I say? Not just in character design, but game music as well. I mean, just listen to the music in the background of this video. It's all desert. Mid tier only has Heart of Hathor, not one that I'm really that attached to. I mean, come on, they just stole us from Skullgirls. <laughs> Mid tier has Undying, Corpse Bride, and Donatello. Undying and Corpse Bride share some of the same cons, being their design overall and having very mediocre weapons. As for Donatello, he's one of the Ninja Turtles that was kind of ignored when it first came out. It was all about Leo, Mikey, and Raph, but Donnie? Unfortunately not. Still looks nice, but it just lacks the most. Then Get Out Tier has Apocalypse Mirage. This is definitely an unpopular opinion, but this is one of the worst skins in the game by far. <laughs> it's super edgy, and I just don't like it. It comes with a dope emote too, but I am not dropping 300 coins on an emote. Seriously, this skin blows. Tier list wise, I'd say B, C, and D, I'd place Mirage in A tier. 
That didn't really change from my last analysis. Although I sort of understand why I thought Mirage was much weaker at the time. I don't think you'd want a player if you're looking to play only Spear or only Scythe. There's much better legends for that. If you're playing Mirage, it's usually for both her weapons or even her stats. 7 attack, 6 dex, 4 defense, and 5 speed. Really not that bad for a Scythe legend and honestly perfect for a Spear legend. The 6 dex is just enough. The high attack is nice for early killing. 5 speed is average and 4 defense makes her just a bit of a glass cannon, but really not entirely. Attack takes out on dex, defense takes out of attack, and speed takes out of defense, making you way more of a glass cannon. Risks you might be willing to take. As for the play rate, it used to be much higher in past patches, but as of recently, a lot of Scythe Legends have been moving down, including Mirage. Oh my god, wait, wait, are we finally moving out of the Scythe phase? That would actually be a dream come true, oh my god. Either way, Mirage is still in top 16, so she hasn't been forgotten about. Obviously, I mean, she's still a Scythe Legend, so... I guess I just find it a bit strange I don't see Mirage anywhere. Just Mordex, Nyx, Artemis, Jiro, you know the drill. Overall, I really don't have much of a connection to her, but she's still one of the more memorable legends to a lot of people, for loads of different reasons. Okay, we all know it's Scythe. I really didn't have a lot of chance opinions about Mirage, or much to say in general, but hey, we've needed an upgrade of the original for almost two years now, it was long overdue. Regardless, that wraps up the analysis for Mirage, I'll continue to do analysis reduns when the time is right. Thanks for watching, and as usual, keep on brawling.